This is Umar Army for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. It is fight week, we are finally here. Denzel Bentley defends his British title against Felix Cash and also challenges for the Commonwealth title. Why do you win this Saturday night, Denzel? Because I'm a better fighter. <laughs> Can you not break it down a little bit? No, you just see what comes in the night. Like I told you already, I'm a guy that figures it out in the night. Like As much as we go over things in the gym and I have a set mindset of what I want to do, so it's just on the night, it's just a whole different feeling. You know what I'm trying to say? So on the night, I'll know which one of these, you know, which, which Denzel I want to tap into. So, yeah. Well, the Denzel that you tapped into last time uh, in your rematch against Mark Heffron was a different one uh, yeah. to, the, to the first fight with Heffron. A lot of people thought you won the first fight with Heffron, but it was a completely different fighter. Yeah. Why was that Denzel? I just knew I had to stick it on him. I just knew, I just knew you know, I, I didn't give him my... my I didn't hit him with my best shot on, on that night in the first fight. And I, I, I took his first shot. It was his biggest shot, say, in the first fight. Mm. So I'm like, okay, I've taken your best shot. Let's see. Okay, like when I, when I was, you know, ninth round tired, ain't been there before. You're not going to catch me with that fresh. And even if you do, it's not going to hurt as much. But you ain't felt me. So I'm going to make you feel my power. And I thought to do that, I've got to obviously hold my feet more and, you know, let my hands go. So that's what I've done in the second fight. And as soon as I saw, you know, he was stepping off and, you know, kind of like blinking. I knew he was hurt, and I thought, okay, you know what? This is what I'm doing tonight. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep on him and making him miss and then counting him. So, do you believe it's gonna have to be the same case with Felix? Obviously, you don't have a, a full fight to go with him, but to work him out early and then apply whatever game plan it is. Th that's the thing. Work him out early. See, see what he's coming with. See, see what he, see what approach he has. And if not, then if he doesn't, you know, come with anything, then I can just have my authority from early and. You know, we, we just get into the fight, but the main thing is, you know, knowing, when you're, knowing what you're coming up against because watching him is, is different from actually being in the ring with anyone. Like, you can watch a fight and be like, oh, he does this and does that, but maybe the guy that will fight him will make him do this and do that. So it's a different fight, you know, if, if, he's, if he's taking me serious, then obviously he might come with a different approach. So we'll see. Okay. Well, a lot of fighters that I speak to don't watch their opponents, but from what you've just said there, you have watched a, a bit of Felix Cash. Yeah, of course, yeah, 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 100%. Mm -hmm. I watch boxing anyway, so if he's on, I'm watching it, do you know what I'm saying? I've, I've seen fighters, but I, I, I do watch, the, watch them back to see, you know, just to refresh my memory, but I don't go too deep into it and go mad over it. But when people say they don't watch their opponents, it baffled me, maybe because they're not fighting anyone of any sort yet. I don't know what kind of fighter say that, but I think if you're just fighting like a journeyman or you look at someone's record and they ain't beat no one, I guess there's no need. But when you're fighting someone that, you know, is coming to really win, you want to see what they do, innit? Mm. Okay, so what does he do well from what you've seen? I told you in the press that he hits low, uses his head, back of the head shots. No, but he's very good at fighting dirty, if I'm being honest. He is very good at fighting dirty. And apart from that, like I said, he's been in the GB squad, so he obviously knows how to box. You know, uh, he's got quite good hand speed. And, but, decent feet. But yeah, no, he's, he's a good fighter. Does that concern you? You believe he fights dirty, does that concern you? No, because I know it already. That's not, there's nothing he's going to do that's going to surprise me or, or you know, shock me, so I'm prepared for everything. Uh, have you seen this in a, in a lot of fights or just a couple of fights of Felix where you say that he fights dirty? Is this a regular thing? I know, thing? I've experienced it. Yeah, obviously, it's sparring. <laughs> yeah. But have you seen it on TV as well? Yeah, he does little slight things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, when he stopped culling, he hit him in the back of the head a few times and well born. I think he even got a point taken off for hitting low and stuff. But mm. Whether he knows he's doing it or that's just him in the momentum, I don't know, but he does it. It seems quite tense up there as it would is two unbeaten guys and what's been said is a 50-50 fight and there's a lot at stake so of course both of you are going to come in with that competitive edge but there's perhaps also this personal element lingering around from that spot is there anything personal between you and Felix? Because no there's nothing personal I think it's more what you're saying obviously under the records obviously we've had that bit of history but I've seen him after that and it's just been hello or whatever like we're not cool we're not brethren we're not friends or nothing but it's just like yeah, hello, and you move on. But it wasn't disrespectful today either, I would say. It wasn't like No, that. it wasn't disrespectful. Yeah, you're right. It wasn't disrespectful. It got a bit... I wouldn't. I don't want to say heated, but it got a bit, you know, loud. It got a bit interesting, but it wasn't disrespectful. But that's the thing. I, I, like I said, I, I respect him as a fighter, but that's, that's just about it. He fights. He's a good fighter, isn't he? I've got to respect that and come in my A game, but other than that, it wasn't disrespectful because there's no real beef, no animosity. It's just two unbeaten guys that want to stay unbeaten and keep their belts. Or we'll keep... Yeah, so... And take the other one off the other, so it's it's obviously going to get a bit. Nah, you're not you're not you're not taking it off me. I don't think we see this in the, in the sport enough nowadays. It's probably a, a rare thing. A lot of the time, 
the trash talk is, is just to, to sell the fight really and it's just kind of made up but there wasn't really any trash talk today as I said it was just pure like wanting willingness to win and getting that perhaps extra edge over a comment that you can and it, it felt like you like you know both of you when you were speaking up there it's just like you 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 have no concept of losing on your mind on Saturday yeah. both of you which is rare to see and good to see yeah look, I, I listen I'm not one of them guys that just like to as loud as I am and whatever I don't like to just say things for saying sake like I'm not just going to be there and say oh you're a bum and I can't, I can't say things I don't mean, do you know what I'm saying? So if you do ever catch me saying things like that, it's because I really mean it. Like, I, I'm not one of these guys to just act out of character to sell a fight or whatever. I'm, I'm trying to be in fights that sell itself, like for this one. Before we even done, before there was any real, you know, press conference or anything to go out there, people were already excited about it when it was announced. Of course, it's fight week now and all the other shows I've done, they've been able to pay more attention to this fight and, and pull it out there more, which is making it more exciting. But I'm just trying to be in fights in general, which sell itself. I'm not, I, don't, I don't need to, to, to just talk rubbish because the other guy I'm fighting, you don't know and I need to sell it. I, I'm, that's dead. I'm not in it for that. Mm. We know what is at stake in this fight. It's so much. But I hope uh, Frank's going to sort you out a bonus if you do win. I hope so too. I hope so. Maybe, uh, um, what did I call you get? Uh, the, the, the Sky Dweller? No, no, not yet. For the world title. But no, I'm joking. But um, yeah, well, listen. It is what it is. I, I want to win anyway, regardless of if there was a bonus or if there was anything else on the line. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It's just... Listen, my job is to get in there and fight, and of course I want to get in there and win. I want to get in there and um, perform my best, and I want to be the next best thing to come out of Britain. I've said it like a hundred times, and the only way to do that is by taking these fights and you know really, really putting in the work I need to in the gym, mm -hmm. and obviously take, making the sacrifices I need to outside of the gym to to be that person. And th this is me on my way to getting to where I want to be. And you believe you stop him on Saturday night? I believe I can stop him. I believe I can stop him. I'm not just going to go in there like, he's a fighter, isn't it? He's a fighter. And he, listen, he, he's where he is for a reason. I'm not going to act like he's, a, he's one of these guys that you could just run through. But I believe I can stop him. And the minute I see the slightest of opportunities, I'm taking it, 100%. Off the back of that performance against Efron in the rematch, obviously you must have gone back to the gym buzzing and full of confidence. Do you believe... You've made significant improvements even from that performance? Yeah, 100%. I think I have. You know, just being able to, to switch what I want to do in that short space of time between the two headphone fights, I've had more time to settle into, you know, whatever it is, whatever style I want to probably be coming to now. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So, every day at the gym, I'm trying to improve. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to just see little things, what works, what doesn't. And I feel like I'm applying it to my game every day. Every time I see something that I like, I apply it to my game. Every time I see something that my work, I apply it to my game, do you know what I'm saying? So, and things that don't work, I just say, okay, I tried that, it didn't work, push it to the side. I've had time to go through all them phases. Oh, I want to add this. Okay, it didn't work. Just chuck that out. Okay, I want to try this. Okay, it works. I do that now. So, you probably see a, a different side of me today. Um, today, Saturday. Um, you probably see a side of me that, it's just, just different from probably both fights, improvements, like the level I can potentially be at, but it's just all about getting there, man. It's, it's, just, it's a good fight to show what I'm capable of. Did you see anything today that surprised you perhaps when you faced off or his demeanour? Might not have, but just in general? No, not really. I just, I felt like probably he was maybe just trying to be a bit funny at times. Was it? Like, not not funny, but like, when, when they were asking what happened in the sparring, like cutting in and that, like he just didn't want it to, he didn't want me to tell the story for him to confirm. I don't know, maybe I'm, I, I wasn't looking too much into it. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It's just one of the ones where he didn't let me tell the story, innit? But we've told it a hundred times. He's told his part, I've told my part. And like we both said, it's in the past. So three years ago, like mm. we're both different fighters since then. Mm. So, so, well, I am anyway. I, I'm, I'm assuming he is because it's three years ago, but I'm a different fighter from then. But either way, I didn't see anything that made me think, oh, he's not on it or, He's scared or this and that, so I'm not gonna lie and say that still. So. What about physically his shape? Oh, he's wearing some platform shoes, so he looked a bit taller. <laughs> That's about it, but uh yeah, I've seen him in real life before, so it's, it's nothing that strikes me as oh he's kinda of big or he's this I know what he looks like, so yeah. Okay. Well listen, Dental Bentley, I really appreciate your time on IFL TV. A huge ahead of a huge uh, occasion and fight night for you yeah. on Saturday. Is there anything you'd like to add to the fans before we go? Tune in, make sure you don't miss it.
you know, my rapid rise to the top continues. <laughs> Thank you very much and best of luck on Saturday. Nice one, man. Thank you.